Hey, 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 guys, it's Fugs Bunny here, and this is my second game with commentary, and this is on Quarry, playing a bit of Domination. I thought I'd put this game up, because it's uh, just showing my sniper skills. I go 32 to 7 in the end, and uh got a few things to talk about as well. I'm using the Barrett 50 Cal with Bling, uh, Stopping Power Pro, Steady Aim Pro. Uh, I've got Thermal and FMJ. I'm using Steady Aim Pro because I'm a bit of a no scope whore. Well, I'm not a no scope whore, I try the odd shot, which you'll see here. I get very lucky. And bam! He, I, I, was, I was nursing a semi from that shot. It was like, I had no idea it was coming. I had a couple of friends and they had no idea it was coming. It was a whole whoa! And it was just amazing. I was like, I was just on top of the world right now. And I'm just looking around, you know, got up to the top of this building, I'm looking for people, I see him, get him on last stand. Execution! Then I get snuck up on, unfortunately. Which is very... It happens a lot to me in this game. Oh, I don't get snuck up on yet, it's in a second. But, uh... If I was listening to my headset properly, I would have heard this guy coming. And there we go. Unfortunate for me. I'll go back, get him, try to get him as quick as possible. But I miss with the shot. I throw a sticky, a Semtex, which goes terribly wrong. So I thought, you know, I'm going to get the Rafika out. Because that gun is beast. I thought I'd climb up this ladder. Bah, 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 bah. Stun him with my no magic no hands ladder skills. Went up, pow, 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 shoot him. Raped. He had no chance. I'm back up in my safe haven again. I'll be honest with you guys in this game. I camped a lot. Right, before I carry on, I want to I want to explain this. Right, I miss him with the quick scope. Then I get him. I fall backwards out the window. I want to quickly explain that for you guys, what was going through my mind. Today, with all the commando, marathon, lightweight people, I thought that dude was going to knife me. So I'm running backwards as I'm shooting, forgetting there's a window behind me. And I forgot to let go of the analog stick after. And it was just it's just the most embarrassing thing in the world, isn't it really? And I was I it was a uh, face palm moment. But here I come up here, oh uh, I get a very lucky no scope to be honest. I miss him the first time and then I get him on the second. Which is I honestly don't know how I did that. But I'm still alive, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain, am I? Uh in this game, I wasn't capturing any points, I was going for the kills, I was being a douche. If Hutch ever does see this, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. It was uh, probably the way I was brought up, I'm from a lower class family. I'm just kidding guys, I'm, I usually, I don't usually do this. I was doing it to show my uh, my sniping skills, as I said earlier. I'm not the greatest at close range, I usually just sit back pick people off. But uh, other than that, I usually do. I'm, I usually have a, an assault rifle or a SMG, and I go running and gunning. Um, my kill death ratio at one point was 3.2 something, and I got sick of trying to maintain it. It's just so hard to do. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna just start running and gunning, see how that goes, and it came out fine. It was it's a pretty good. Pretty good decision in my opinion because I'm having a lot more fun with the game. I'm enjoying the game a lot more, and uh, yeah, it's just overall, it's just it's made my Call of Duty experience a lot better, and that should so be on an advert somewhere. And here I'm just just coaching up on these these steps here, picking people off because it's quite hard to see me from where they are, and I get a lovely little spree here, Harriers and Pavlon in one session. So I whip both of them out. So I'm, I'm, I, I do love the Harrier and Pavlo. My Mexican helicopter friend Pavlo. I just love him. He, he always does well. As I said in my last video, I'll, I won't elaborate anymore. Hey, back to the. I'll, I'll start talking about the Barrett now. The Barrett is an amazing sniper. Probably my. It is my favourite. My order of snipers would probably be Barrett, Intervention, WA-2000. But the Intervention and WA-2000 are very close. I know a lot of people would pick the Intervention over the 2000 any day. 
but I just, I don't know what it is about that gun, I just love it, it's just, it takes two shots to kill, which I think makes it a challenge, I think I'm a better sniper if I'm using that and getting headshots to kill people for, uh, with one shot, and I think if you, if you want to be a good sniper, like the professionals, you got to be good, get used to using a gun like that and getting, getting the headshots and whatnot, and I know I'm not, I'm crap at quick scoping, I'm decent at no scoping, but that's not useful in this game, really. And, uh, I got back up here, just chilling out, relaxing, acting all cool, shooting some people outside of school. Uh, famous words of uh, Will Smith, if you don't know Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, just quit this video right now. Rate it, of course, and then subscribe, and then quit the video. And go watch some Fresh Prince because it's possibly one of the greatest shows on earth. It was before Will Smith was really famous, probably one of the. I think it was his first ever major role. And uh, I'm just a massive fan. It's uh, that the, his storyline is very similar to mine. I was living in 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 the ghetto of South London, and I was getting into trouble. And I got we moved away to a to the countryside. And it's very similar, he's a, he's the black version of me, I'd like to say, without offending anyone on YouTube, because I know if people do start hearing this, there's going to be a major racist war on my, uh, on my page, but don't worry, I'm, I'm white, I was, just to clear that up, and, uh, I, I love, I love all races the same. I'd like to say I, I'm not favouritist, and anyway, I get snuck up on again. I get snuck up on far too much in this game, especially by shotguns. And uh, I was forced to go on the other side of the map, which disappointed me because I was, I like chilling out where I was over there, just at the top building. I was loving it, but I thought I'll just, I'll just do work over here. I pick up the ACOG Barrett, right? This thing. Not in this game, but in other games when I've tried to use it, and with the intervention, I just can't use it. I think Infinity Ward have, they have gone an extra, extra step to fuck me off, because I love the ACOG in Call of Duty 4. And in, in, in this game, it just, it doesn't seem to be as accurate. I don't like the dot, I like the little, uh, little upside down V you got on the other ACOG. I just thought it was a better layout. But what can you do, eh? I'll stick with my trusty thermal. I usually use thermal or just the normal scope. Um, I usually put FMJ on the barracks. It just needs that extra bit of oomph to uh, to get the make sure it's a one shot kill. But luckily, my team took down that air support quick as, so that was all right. I uh, start picking people off from here. It's another favourite point of mine, either on that little ledge there or in the uh, window on top of the digger. It's usually a very good spot, but these days a lot of people have become wise to it, and you've got to be careful, watch watch your back and whatnot. You get to see a good example of my uh, ACOG abilities in a minute. With this, there's a dude that comes from around the back there, I just could I completely fuck it up, I'll be honest with you. It's, em it's embarrassing, not as embarrassing as falling out a window backwards and doing flips and shit, but... It's just it's embarrassing. And then off a uh, super fast mode. Thought I'd speed it up a little bit to cut the video down. I drop on top of my trusty digger, Mr. JCB. I'd get a couple of kills from up here. And uh, I wouldn't say I. In my last video, I, I briefly encountered the subject of camping. My version of camping is when you're in one building, and. Uh, you, or well, not one building, in a hallway or in a corner of a building and you just wait for people to run past. That's camping in my opinion. Camping is not when you're holding holding off a choke point or staying in a building and picking people off from all sides or holding off a, a capture point. I just That's not camping. And the amount of times I've got violent abuse from people saying that I'm camping, it's unbelievable. I've, I've had r racial abuse from people that are the same race as me because I've been apparently been camping and uh, I get shot here it's uh, I shoot someone and his mate shoots me uh, it was disappointing but I speed up a little bit here because nothing happens for a few seconds so 
Super fast mode, uh, that's only using my blade, would say. Also a big fan of him. I'm a big fan of all, all the usual people. I come back here and get a couple of good headshots. I just love that sound of the, the bullet bouncing off their head. But uh, it's coming to, towards the end of the game now. I do pretty well, 32 to 7. It's a good score for a sniper on Quarry, in my opinion. I'm sure there's better. Uh, we lose the game overall, but I do the best points-wise. And there it is, that's game. Don't forget to comment, subscribe and rate, and there'll be more videos soon, guys.